Howdy, partners. Man, that is just shameful. This is the Deep Blue Master 1000 Automatic Diver's Watch. Now, Deep Blue, if you didn't know about them, are an American company who make a huge range of different sorts of diver's watches. Uh, you check them out on the internet, deepbluewatches.com. Uh, there's, a, there's an EU uh, website as well. Um, worth a look, actually, because they've got so many different sorts, and each watch has comes in lots of different varieties. Now, this particular one is the black, be black dial, red bezel, red second-hand version. And they come, as I said, they come in all sorts of different uh, colours. Uh, worth a look. Let's have a look in detail at this watch. Uh, because it really is quite something. First of all, let's get an idea of the scale because it's quite a chunky watch. It's a it's a it's a giant to be honest. Forty four millimeters in diameter, and the thickness is the is the the big thing. It's fifteen millimeters thick. Uh, the lug width is twenty two millimeters. It's quite a stubby watch. Uh, the lug to lug is only 53 millimeters so uh, it sits really nicely on the wrist for such a massive watch so mine is a seven and a half inch wrist and that sits really nicely on there I think it is thick but it's a chunky watch and it just makes sense it's absolutely lovely on the wrist I really enjoy wearing this watch Whilst we're here, let's have a look at the clasp. It's a nice clasp. It, it flips over. Uh, there's little buttons to open it up. And it's signed with Deep Blue Precision Diver right written there. Can you see that? And the Deep Blue logo there. Very nice. Um, it's, it's straightforward, very solid, uh, satisfying bracelet, stainless steel bracelet. Polished and uh, no, sort of brushed all the way, fits nicely in the lugs. Uh, the case of the watch is uh, let's let's continue uh, with this. We've got so we brushed from the bracelet, brushed case. The back is uh, sort of polished with a very very deep motif written there. Deep blue master one thousand and a deep sea diver. Free diver by the look of it. Now this is written 4,902. Uh, I think it's out of 5,000, so uh, relatively limited. It says sapphire crystal, all stainless steel diver, 300 meters automatic movement. Now, let me tell you some specs, shall I? It is water resistant to 1,000 feet, hence the deep blue master 1,000 title. The, uh, and uh, so that's uh, what 300 meters um, screw down crown very good crown nice massive actually uh, signed as well signed crown it's nicely deeply etched there and uh, hacking movement so if I pull the crown all the way out the second hand stops and that is a Seiko NH35 automatic movement so you know, bomb proof, absolutely superb movement, no doubts, no, no, no uh, questions about that. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour uh, with 24 joules, and it has the date window at 3 o'clock. Uh, simple cutout with the uh, black on white date wheel. Uh, sapphire crystal, as I said, which is AR coated, very scratch resistant, super luminova hour markers and hands. Little bit of super low luminova dot in the in the little circle on the second hand super luminova on the bezel pip. Now this particular one glows really well in the night. Uh, I've done another deep blue review, and in that one I found the loom a little bit lackluster and not that great. This one really bright. So I don't know. Maybe some models have more than others. A uh, really handsome dial, a uh, black face with applied indices, a nice classic round indices. Let's keep going around. We've got a helium release valve here. Now, I've never never unscrewed this. I don't know what happens if helium starts pouring out. I doubt it. Um, now, obviously, this is the key feature. 
that uh, everybody will buy this watch for because let's face it who doesn't need a helium release valve uh, very very useful very practical uh, very handsome watch uh, a feature of the watch now to me aside from the incredibly practical nature of a helium release valve what this watch this this <laughs> what this feature of the watch does is to tell other people how serious a diver I am I wear that on my wrist people look at it and they go oh yeah 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 he's he's a serious guy he's all about the diving he's got a helium release valve on his watch uh, I've no idea what it does I have no idea why you would need one and I've never been deeper than three meters with this watch so it's all it's all a little bit academic however it's nice to have it looks adds a, adds a cool little twist to it that's the deep blue Precision Diver Master 1000 for you. A really nice watch that I really enjoy wearing. A nice big chunky watch. Please subscribe for more videos. Uh, I would really uh, you know, guarantee it. I guarantee that you will love this video. Did you love this video? Let's f I don't know. Like it to let me know if you did like it. If you didn't like it, just keep quiet. I, I, I can't do with uh, negative criticism. That's the end of the video. Please, as I said, please subscribe and um, I'll see you soon.